Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this video is going to be the seven month update on my hair transplant procedure. Check it out. Hey guys, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please do feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I upload hair transplant video updates every month so you can track my progress and then a bunch of other videos as well. So if you like nerdy stuff, comic book stuff, Marvel, DC, collectible stuff, you'll like my channel. So stick around and check out my other videos as well. So before we jump into the video, I'm going to recap on everything you need to know really quickly. I'm 32 years old. I got my hair transplant done seven months ago at Vinci Hair Clinic in London on Harley Street. Around £4,000 for the FUE transplant procedure, which included 2,500 hair grafts and a session of PRP injections as well, which I had at the four-month mark. I had FUE, so it means they took hair grafts around the, the back and the sides, and that was then implanted into incision that they made into the front of my head. My hairline was originally a really, like, it was a it was an M sort of shape, and I've hated that my entire life, so I just wanted it straightened out. So the result that I've got is very straight, and it is what I wanted. So this is exactly how I wanted it. Um, everyone has their own opinions on what they want for a hairline, so everyone has their own, like, you're either gonna like this or you're gonna hate it, but either way, I don't care because I'm really happy with it, and that is what is important when you get surgery done, is that you are happy with your results. Make sure you do it for yourself. I did this for me, not for anyone else. Um, I've had no pressure to get this done. It was just something that I've wanted to do my entire life because I've hated my hairline. In the first week, you experience some swelling. In the second week, that swelling is gone. Any sort of itching has usually stopped by the end of the second week. You can wash your hair normally by the second end of the second week. It takes about 10 days for the grafts to be secure in your scalp. So after that point, you can dry your hair normally, you can wash your hair normally, you can style it normally. Um, but I would just be I'd be careful of them anyway. I've been really, really careful with mine the whole way through and I'm very glad that I have because I haven't had any sort of problems with it, which is really, really good. I had my six month checkup with Vinci Hair Clinic a month ago where I basically just sent them the, the, the current pictures of what it looks like and they sent me back the pictures of the, the pre-surgery stage. So if you wanna check what my hair looked like before I had surgery, then here you go. So here's a little side comparison. This guy right here is, is what it used to look like. Not good. <laughs> um, and then from the side, you can see like what it looks like from the side. So behind me is how my hairline used to look from my left side. And then finally, how my hair used to look like from the right side. So you can see there is a massive difference in the, the hair shape right now as it is. So I'm very pleased with what it looks like right now. Maybe not right now because I just messed it up, but I am very, very happy with it. One of the main things that I hated about my hair before I had the hair transplant was the fact that when the wind blew, when I was out and about, my hair would separate, like here it would separate, here it would separate, and there would just be, it would just go up really high and it just wouldn't look good. Whereas now that I've got the, the new hair there, you can't really, you can't tell when the wind blows, it just, it's, it just looks straight. <laughs> so I'm really, really pleased with it, basically. I'll show you some close-up shots of the hair as it is, so you can see what it looks like from a uh, really close-up. But as you can see, you can, it's, it's, it's growing well. It's still not exactly the same as my regular hair. It's still quite tufty. My normal hair is quite straight, so this is, is like quite fine and I don't want to say wiry, it's not wiry, but it's just not the same texture as my own hair just yet. But that will change as it grows because it's still just young baby hair. But it is looking good, it is thickening up, it is getting more normal looking as time goes on. Okay, here you go, you can, you can see the difference between this is my normal, normal straight hair and this you can see is is very um it's it's not straight it's still it's still very new hair there are some bits of the transplanted hair that have grown really long i can feel that this is a transplanted hair because i can actually feel on the end of it you can see that's the actual bit of hair shaft that was transplanted from the back of my head to the front of my head that tiny little black bit just there 
that dark bit there. So you can see that one piece of transplanted hair has just continued to grow from the moment it was transplanted. It didn't fall out. Basically, during like month two, that's when all of your hair shafts usually will fall out. So it will look like you've had nothing done to your head. It just looks really plain. You can't see any hair growth at all. And it's a stressful period. But just know that during that month two to month three period is the dormant stage. So not a lot happens. So don't stress during that period. I did massively and... I didn't need to in the end because the hair is all grown through. But as you've just seen, there are some pieces of hair that do grow continuously. They don't fall out of your head and they just start to grow immediately. So that is why that one there is really long and can actually come down to my eye right now. Um, I do need to probably cut them, but I'm just, I, I just like seeing how long that one has grown. I think it's really interesting. Anyway, I've had a lot of questions this month about what the scarring on the back of my head looks like. So what I did this month was shave my head. I gave myself a haircut and I filmed the whole process. I literally did it myself with the clippers and I was, I just set my camera up in front of the TV so that I could, did the best that I could. Hopefully you can see that there is very, very minimal scarring on the back. You can't can't really tell that I've had anything done from the back of my head, which I think is great. But yeah, let's let's dive into to when I had a bit longer hair. And here I am earlier on in the month. So let's get going with this haircut. I'm kind of gonna go for a Chris Hemsworth in Thor Ragnarok kind of style. So the back of my head, loads of you wanted to know about the scarring at the back. So I can't really see much of anything as I'm pulling my hair up like this. So you can like see there's maybe some, some, some light red patchy marks. I'm not sure, but this is basically what it looks like when it's, it's, it's grown out and I need to have it cut. Good. Right. <laughs> As you can see from the back of my head just here, I've gone pretty short. So this right here is a two, then there's a three and a four, and then it's blended in at the top just here. Um, as best as I possibly can do with doing it from the back of my head myself. Um, but yeah, it's, you can get it quite short without seeing any, any scarring at all. There's, you can hardly see anything. I'm looking at it right now. I can't hardly see a thing. Um, so I probably could go shorter and still not even see any sort of scarring in the back of my head, which is really, really good. You know what? We're in lockdown. No one can get their hair cut properly from a hairdresser or a barber. And I think for me doing this by myself, it is pretty damn good. So there you go. That was it. That was me getting my hair cut. My hair is cut. Let me know what you think of the cut in the <laughs> comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on on this thing. I really want to take my hair a bit shorter as well. It's still a bit long on the top, but um, yeah, I, I can't get to an actual barber's because they're all closed still with this coronavirus. Right, so that's pretty much where we are today. Let's take a really quick look, time-lapse thing, and all of the, the, the updates so far. Let's do it. <laughs> And then here we are at seven months. That's well, that's that's pretty much it. It is looking good. It is looking good. I'm very pleased with it. 
Before I wrap up this video, I have actually been sent this package of PR stuff from Ideal of Med. This is hair restoration products. This has been gifted. I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you if it's good, if it's not, if it works, if it doesn't. But I am going to be trying this out for the next few months just to see if it does make a difference or give my hair any sort of boost that I would like it to have. So this is the box right here and it's the Ideal Hair Vitalization Box. That's what it says on the back of it. Information about this is all gonna be in the description down below. So if you wanna check it out, feel free to. They've given me a discount code. So I will put that in there as well if you wanted to try it out. So let's take a look inside this box. We have a little bag here and inside here we've got two face masks. I actually quite like the white one. Current climate, COVID masks. So inside the box it's actually displayed quite nicely. It comes in this little package like this. Everything's got its own section. So we've got two of these. This is the hair restoring shampoo. So I'm going to test this out and hopefully it's going to help. On the back of this it says, our unique combination of hair growth stimulants contains Propacil, one of the most effective hair loss treatments. The hair boosting formula also contains biotin to improve hair thickness, strength and vitality, while Saw Palmetto fights against hair loss for strong hair and a healthy scalp. It says on the front, substantial improvement of thinning hair, making you look and feel great. I will be the judge of that very, very soon. The next thing in this box is the conditioner. Um, pretty much the same thing, smoothens, detangles and adds moisture, making your hair look and feel great. Great. I always use conditioner on my hair to give it that smooth, soft, shiny look. The next thing in here, we've got two tubs of these vitamins. These are hair vitamins, keeping your hair healthy and everything with biotin, ginseng, and zinc, which is supposed to help boost your hair. And then the last thing in this box is this DHT blocking scalp serum. If you don't know about DHT, DHT is one of the hormones which is responsible for, for hair loss in men. It's responsible for a lot of other things as well. It is one of the causes of hair loss in men. So having a DHT blocking scalp serum is it's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that this works. So I can thicken up this hair, I can stop any potential future hair loss and give it a go. Right, that's pretty much it from this box. Thank you so much to Ideal of Med for sending me this. I look forward to trying it out and hopefully it does the trick. If you do have any questions at all, please do feel free to let me know in the comments down below or feel free to send me a direct message on my Instagram page. My handle is gonna be right here. I do get back to every single question. It may take a little bit of time because there is quite a few coming through, but I am more than happy to answer every question that comes through. I think that's pretty much it for this video, so I'm going to leave it here. Please do feel free to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss any of my uploads. And if you do decide to go to Vinci Hair Clinic to have a procedure done, drop my name in the where did you hear about us box in the thing. It does help me. I don't have anything official with them just yet, but I am hopeful that, fingers crossed, sometime soon there will be. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.